energy distributions in black body spectrum we can uh, go into detail about the from Vian's law and Arlegin's law for radiations. So uh, the law only for Vian's law only for shorter wavelength, Jan's Arlegin's law only valid for uh, longer wavelength sites. The Blanc's law as a whole, the, you can uh, uh, derive from the Vian's law and Arlegin's law by using the Blanc's idea. So let us discuss here uh, introductions about the Vian's law and its proof, Rolagin's law and its proof. Finally, summary of this uh, this today's idea. So uh, this is actually the total block body energy distribution with respect to the wavelength uh, with the increasing of the different temperature. So Vian's observed that lambda for lambda m for one particular temperature. Uh, is going to be shifted if you would rise the temperature the lambda m is should be shifted into the lower uh, shorter wavelength sides therefore lambda m is is inversely proportional to temperature therefore lambda m t is equal to constant from that we can uh, this is actually the uh, vian's will be vian's uh, discussed about that particular law is called the vian's law so you should be away for the shorter wavelength sites. And uh, Raleigh's uh, have calculated that uh, concentrated his attention on actual process that takes place in the space when heat radiations are transmitted through it. This theory was uh, uh, later developed by the James. Uh, he, they considered the independent trains of the waves waving wavelength in the range of lambda and the lambda plus d lambda. Applying the theory of probability, they found out the number of such wave time, wave trains in a given range and estimated the energy distributions. In this way, Rolagins uh, have estimated the energy in a longer wavelength sites. So let us uh, first discuss about the Vian's law of energy distribution. The statement of the energy Vian's law is the energy density of radiation in an enclosure at a temperature T having in the range of lambda and lambda plus d lambda is E lambda d lambda is equal to 8 by hc lambda power minus phi e power minus hc by lambda kt into d lambda. This is a total energy distributions at a particular temperature T of the enclosure. Here, uh, H is a Planck's constant and C is a speed of uh, light, K is a Boltzmann constant and T is a temperature of the enclosure. Explanation, Vian's law agrees with the experimental results in the region of shorter wavelength. It finds in a longer wavelength side. So we can get in that uh, Planck's law of radiation, C da, E lambda, D lambda is equal to 8 by HC lambda power minus 5 D lambda, E power minus E power HC by lambda KT minus 1. Here, lambda is very small, lambda is considered very small, therefore e power hc by lambda kt is large. When compared to e power hc by lambda kt is compared to 1, when uh, that, that is a going to be a greater value, therefore uh, minus 1 is to be neglected here, that final value is e power hc by lambda kt. Uh, so that equation becomes e, da, e lambda d lambda is equal to 8 by hc lambda per minus 5 d lambda e per minus hc by lambda kt into d lambda so this is a one form of vian's law okay the total energy distribution in a shorter wavelength sites with the respect to the particular temperature in the range of lambda and the lambda plus d lambda and also the vian's displacements law and the other formations uh, we have to discuss in the sorting way the wavelength lambda m strongly uh, emitted radiation in the continuous spectrum of block body is inversely proportional to the observed temperature. From that graph we show that uh, if the lambda m is going to be shifted when you have to rise the temperature, therefore lambda m is inversely proportional to the observed temperature. But the lambda m t is equal to b, therefore b is a Vian's constant 2.89 in 10 power minus 3 meter Kelvin. This law shows that the temperature increases the maximum intensity of radiation emitted displaced towards a shorter wavelength, towards a shorter wavelength. Hence, it is called Vian's displacement law. The temperature of the sun can be calculated by using that particular relation. And we come, uh, come to the point of Rolagin's law. Uh, 
द रॉलिजेंस लॉ स्टेटमेंट इज द एनर्जी डेंसिटी ऑफ रेडिएशन इन एन एनक्लोजर ऑफ टेम्परेचर टी हैविंग द वेवलेंथ इज इन द रेंज ऑफ लैम्डा एंड लैम्डा प्लस डी लैम्डा इज इक्वल टू ई लैम्डा डी लैम्डा 8 बाय कैट ई लैम्डा पावर माइनस 4 डी लैम्डा रॉलिजेंस लॉ इज experimentally agrees with the experimental results in the longer wavelength regions it fails in the shorter wavelength regions but derivations of law rolling's law from blank's idea the blank's law of distributions is e lambda d lambda is equal to 8 by h c lambda power minus pi d lambda by e power minus e power h c by lambda k t minus 1 where lambda is large e power h c by lambda k t is small so you can expand it e power h c by lambda kt is nothing but uh, e power x 1 plus h nu by kt h c by lambda kt minus 1 uh, plus 1 minus 1 cancel the four uh, 8 by e lambda d lambda is equal to 8 by h c lambda power minus 5 uh, by h c by lambda kt you can uh, cancel of h c on the denominator and numerator and finally that expression is 8 by kt lambda power uh, 8 by kt by lambda power 4 tend d lambda is especially for rolling's idea finally summary of this today's uh, talk is uh, the wien's law and the rolling's law for especially for wien's law you should have the block body uh, distribution in shorter wavelength sites for longer wavelength sites the wave trends is going to be calculated by uh, assuming that uh, Uh, assuming that attention of actual process takes place in the space when heat radiation transmitted through it in that uh, high in a longer wavelength sites okay so that uh, that graph shows that we got to in a shorter wavelength site the wien's law is satisfied the if uh, suppose the peak value lambda m is should going to be shifted when you got to rise the temperature the for lambda m is inversely proportional to t that is called lambda m t is equal to b but that is also a wien's law And Rolling's law is nothing but the higher term, higher or longer wavelength sites that uh, what will be the total energy density is di distributed uniformly distributed with a particular temperature. Uh, the range of lambda and the lambda plus d, d lambda is also discussed. Okay, so with this I conclude my uh, I talk. Uh, thank you very much.